What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Kate. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On this channel, you will see a ton of lifestyle content, mom content. <laughs> Also, what's on my iPhones, what's in my bags, all those kind of tags, and then just kind of like anything and everything. Get ready with me is a beauty. But today's video, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title, is gonna be a what's on my iPhone <laughs> featuring Raya. Now, I've been trying all kinds of styles of iPhone layout. A lot of them are actually suggested from you guys, so thank you so much. And just know that I am trying a lot of them out and showing you what works for me. Today's no different. We're trying a totally new style and I'm excited to show you so let's get into it so this is my wallpaper on my lock screen and this is a picture of Gucci usually it's a picture of Gucci and Rhea or just Rhea but we don't show her online like that so it's just Gucci for today and then if I unlock my phone this is what you guys are gonna see so this is very minimal you guys can see it's very straight to the point very organized and also very productive. So I'm gonna go into all of the details for that, but this is like maximizing my productivity. You guys know most of my what's on my iPhone videos, sorry about all the baby noises in the back, are about being productive. You guys know I'm a mom now. I don't have time to be looking for apps on 10 different app pages. We just don't have time for that. So everything is a very straight to the point, productive, and clean aesthetic wise because I'm also gonna be linking my wallpaper down below and then my phone as well. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's the same one I've been using for about two years now and I love it. It's the gold version. And then I just have this clear case so I will link everything down below. Now let's get into the actual phone. So in here, I have all of my folders organized. So they used to be organized by um, alphabetical order. Now they're organized by productive so this is like the most productive folder and then it goes down slowly obviously shopping is the least productive social is before last so that's kind of like how I organized it and then I have one widget here so I used to have my calendar and my reminders as my main widgets however I have them now as the first um, apps in my productivity folder so we're gonna get into that but I'm using this new app called stoic it is a paid app so I'm gonna try it out I think it comes to about four dollars a month or 50 bucks a year or something like that so I'm on the free trial right now I have a few days left on it and I kind of just wanted to play around with it beforehand before actually um, investing in, in it but I think that it's gonna be a really really good app for me and this is not sponsored at all. I literally found this app like a few days ago. I thought it would be really nice to incorporate this app in my phone because I love journaling. You guys know I journal like physically, but it would be nice to do something here um, on my phone. So just like even if I'm, it's just like a little check-in. Like it could be my mood, it can be um, understanding stress or just like reading a quote or something. I just thought this was a cute little check-in. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna invest in it. So I might not have this app for much longer. Longer. I just wanted to try it out because I've been looking for kind of an app like this um, just to kind of check in here and there when I'm on the go. So that is the widget here. We also have a journal app. I talked to you guys about it in my last video that comes with the iPhone. It's just called journal and I have not really used this because I journal by hand as I told you guys but I really want to start doing things like on the go and this can include pictures as well so if I had a nice day out or something with some friends i can include a picture about it and write about it in my um, electronic journal my digital journal let's get into the actual phone so you guys can see i only have one page of apps very straightforward to the point we have text call facetime love that because it's just like clear cut <laughs> we know exactly what we're doing here productivity is the first folder so in here we have calendar i maximize my calendar to its full extent i have a whole video on that i will link my previous videos down below for you guys but if you want to see how i organize my calendar with emojis and stuff it is um my go-to app every single day the first thing i do when i wake up is check what i have on the go reminders same exact thing i put everything in my reminders notes as well especially when i'm doing um a video production like 
just writing out not really a script but just writing out like how i want my video to go i even do this for my vlogs clock i have all of my alarms etc so i do use this quite often chrome obviously is google mail i always so i have my do not disturb on right now but usually i would have um, notifications on so i do have some mail i have to get to and personally i like leaving notifications on this was the most um challenging part of having the super aesthetic um, iPhone layout in my previous what's on my iPhone video because the notifications let me know what I still have on the go and what I still have to accomplish so that's why I kind of reverted to this style and then I have the app store I don't really download new apps but I thought this would be the perfect folder to put it in then I have financial so my bank PayPal is how brands um, pay me and then I have my insurance stuff and then my wallet that comes with my phone and then um, investment app work. So this is regarding my YouTube. If you guys are not subscribed, you know what to do. YouTube studio is for creators. Gmail is the email that's associated to my YouTube. So that's why this one is in this folder. Teams and Zoom is just if I have meetings with people. Photos, so this is everything about photos and editing, including video editing. So I use my camera, obviously, photos app. CapCut is how I edit my videos. If you guys want me to do a video on how I actually edit my YouTube videos, let me know. Canva is how I make my thumbnails, and Bazart as well. Sometimes I use Bazart. Right now, I've been loving Canva. Facetune and FaceApp is for picture editing. And then Creators app is the file transfer app that comes with my um, vlogging camera. I don't really use it that much. I usually use files because I plug my SD card into my phone directly and then just transfer pictures and videos like that. And then Canon print is for my um, little picture printer I have at home. Health, so we have my period tracker, health app, fitness. I use this every day because I'm tracking my steps and stuff on my Apple Watch. Um, this is the app that is attached to my scale. So when I'm weighing myself, it'll go on here. Lifesum is for my calorie tracker. Pillow is, again, with my Apple Watch, how I slept. So it tracks my sleep. Sweatcoin is just a, basically, you collect coins based on how many steps you take. You redeem your steps and your coins for different gift cards or whatever. This is immunization for the baby. Clean time app is how long I have been clean and sober. So shout out to my sober girlies. Um, these are like pregnancy apps that I just can't get rid of because I'm attached to them. <laughs> and then my Apple Watch app. Home is anything from my home. So my security cameras, Google Home. This is attached to the humidifier in the baby's room. It's an electronic one that you can control through the app. Hydro, obviously. This is for our condo. Bell is like our TV and internet. And then Telus is the cell phone company I'm with. That one's a pretty boring folder. Social, Instagram. We already know what this is. If you guys are not following, here I am. It's actually AK. TikTok, same thing, same handle. If you guys are not following, I have been trying to post more on TikTok, but I'm still working on it, girl. Um, it's actually AK, as I mentioned. X, I kind of go on X. I'm not sure how to maintain a profile on X and on threads. <laughs> so let me know which one you guys are on most often and I'm happy to post more on that. But yeah, this is my X, formerly known as Twitter. And then I have threads, which is associated to my Instagram. So it's the same handle. Pinterest, I use not to like promote things or um, like, I don't really have a, a, like a following on here. I just use this to save ideas for myself. I'm still brunette princess on here, so I have to change this. And then shopping, definitely the um, folder that I had to delete the most apps from. So Amazon, Tim Hortons, Starbucks, those are my like tried and true apps, love those. Nespresso, because I have a Nespresso machine, so I order through here. Etsy, really great for Christmas gifts. Check out 51, I have a um, discount code for you guys down below, not sponsored, but it's cash back on your groceries. I have not used it in a while, you guys can see it, but it is very, very handy if you're doing a lot of grocery shopping. Sephora, obviously, skip the dishes, Rakuten, um, I also have discount codes for those for you guys. PC Optimum, Wayfair, Honey, and Poshmark. Poshmark, I have not updated in a little while. I have been meaning to um, post some new things on here. So these are just like things that I've sold previously. So previously loved and used items. Some of them still have the tags on them. 
So that's pretty much it. <laughs> but you guys, this is very straight to the point, very straightforward. And I don't have any apps that I'm not using. I don't have any apps that I don't need and that just kind of take up space for nothing. And this is a very, very minimal, very productive. And my do not disturb options, I only have two of these. So I deleted the other ones that I don't use. So you are free to make new focus, obviously, but I like these ones. And then in here, I've actually selected some people that can cross the boundary, uh, not the boundary, but the do not disturb option, um, just like my emergency contacts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys rearrange your phone, let me know. Show me on Instagram, tag me. I would love to see them. You guys are so creative. And yeah, that is pretty much it for what's on my iPhone. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Definitely let me know how you enjoyed this video by liking, commenting, and subscribing. So don't forget to check out my description box for my socials, discount codes, and all the items mentioned in this video it's down below in my Amazon storefront. And if nobody told you today, I love you. You are valued and be kind to yourselves. Bye guys.